What's up, guys? So, I know I look so crazy right now, but it's October 13th, and it's my launch day for my boutique, and I just... I just got my first official order in and uh, I didn't think I would be this emotional. Um, wait, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, shout out to my sissy. Um, Ashley, I love you so much. Thank you so much. I did not think I was going to be this emotional, but I did not think. <laughs> I was going to feel like this leading up to my launch. Like all my friends text me and call me this morning. And it was just like, oh, happy launch day. How do you feel? Do you feel nervous? Do you feel excited? And I'm just like, eh, I don't know how to feel. Like I didn't, I don't know how to feel, but <laughs> I feel good as hell. Like <laughs> I feel so good. I came up on here, crusty lips, no earrings, dirty bonnet. <sighs> just looking crazy so y'all can just catch these real emotions this week in business vlog i think i'm gonna turn this into i didn't know i didn't i just wanted to kind of capture these emotions for y'all and just let y'all know that you can't have anything you want you can do anything you want um you just have to put in the work your stars are gonna align your your, your story is already written um, I don't mean to sound cliche, like I, but it's just just seeing something that you worked for and that you wanted just 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 come to life is crazy. And I just I wanted to share this moment and just let you know I don't know what your moment is, but it's coming. Um, whatever you're trying to do is coming. It's gonna happen for you. So yeah, so I'm gonna go get some tape. Why I don't have packing tape? I don't know. Y'all gotta work with me, y'all. I'm a new business owner. Um, and also, so today, I'm just gonna pack those orders, ship those orders out. So, what happened was, y'all, this is why vlogging, I like vlogging, but I be looking crazy and it's like nothing you can do. Like, you just gotta be on this bitch looking crazy. But, hold on, y'all, I'm about to cross the street. I don't pay attention to shit, so I can't talk to y'all while I cross the street. Hold up. All right, we across the street. Um... So, since I'm me and I procrastinate and do all this other stuff, um, my printer, my label printer is not getting here until tomorrow. So, what I have to do is I have a postal plaza down the street from my house. So, when I get back inside, I'm going to like weigh everything with my scale. I have a scale. Hopefully, I remember to show you guys. First, I'm going to put that information into Shopify. And then I'm going to run back down the street. I'm going to print out the shipping labels. I'm going to run back in my house. I'm going to put the shipping labels on the packages. And then I'm going to go back to the postal plaza to ship off all those packages. I mean, I probably could just tape the shipping labels to the packages in the, post, in the postal plaza. But, you know, since COVID and they'd only want... A certain amount of people in the thing i'm gonna just take my papers and i'm gonna go back home but luckily they have a computer and they have a printer and all of that so me having to wait until tomorrow to get my label printer is really not a big deal so guys i'm on my way to the postal plaza to print out my shipping labels so like as i was going through like to get my poly mailers and um my scale i see i already have a printer y'all tell me why i just ordered a damn two three hundred dollar printer yesterday from amazon but so i've been wanting to do this boutique for some time now so when i first mentioned it to my boyfriend he literally just brought me all this shit so i had these poly mailers for years i had this scale for years and i never realized he purchased me a printer i'm packaging orders i um i just wanted y'all to pack package your order with me I am packaging this baby. So it has the mock neck. It has a zipper on the back, which I love. But you can wear your zipper to the front or not. This dress is called Follow Me. The orange one is ribs, um, which I think is really cute. It has the thumb cut out which i think is really cute and this is going to my homegirl jessica in georgia so i'm just going to fold it the theme right now for my boutique is like black and white so i got this black tissue paper and then 
I have some ribbon because I'm going to tie them up, make them look cute. Oh, wait, let me show y'all the poly mullets. So these are the poly mullets. These are 10 by 13. It just says thank you. I honestly, I have another order that's like really big. Um, so I'm going to have to order some bigger poly mullets just in case somebody else orders a really big order too. Um, I'm going to have to put it in two poly mullets though. But these are from Amazon. If you have a boutique and you are taking your tags off, don't do it with scissors or like a box cutter. It's, a, it's like a, I guess it's probably like the exacto knife thing. It's a name for it and it's, get that to take the tags off. And we want to take the tags off because you don't want nobody trying to sneak by your stuff and trying to see who your vendors are. So you could take your tags off. You could add your own tags. I didn't find it necessary to have my own tags right now. I just thought that was another expense that I didn't need. And I could have just, I'm having trouble with this stuff. <laughs> I just thought that was just another expense that I didn't need right now. Um, In the future, in the near future, I'm definitely going to get some tags. So I think it's good for branding and it just looks better but um starting off that's not i didn't find tags as a necessity and when y'all are y'all think you guys spell these people name right look at the invoice look at the shipping label spell their name right i really don't want y'all to be able to see me right now because i look a trip but i just wanted to i'm packaging some orders i got I ordered last night when I was asleep, and then I got an order this morning. So before I start my work work, I'm um I'm gonna just package these orders, and I'm gonna get these orders out sometime this afternoon. It's like ten o'clock right now. I don't know where I learned this from, but you know, just to look over your clothes before you sell them, before you package them. So I'm um looking over this dress and i just see like a little thread i don't know if y'all can see this thread but it's like a little my hands is always ashy every time i come on here it's like a little thread so you just want to cut that off just look them over people are paying their good money so they want good quality stuff this is our underrated dress by the way i love it you can wear like on or off the shoulders and i put this in my other uh vlog i did about a sneak peek about my boutique i'll um link that if i want to see it um and i love the sleeves because like it gets tight at the wrist but then it like puffs out because they're so big i love this dress i'm about to package this up for my twin shout out to her y'all gotta follow um plush la mode because my girl is a self-taught designer like i'm gonna i'm gonna tag her um I'm going to put her website and her Instagram in the comments because she do custom. She have like ready to wear things and I love it. And I just love that she is so taught. Y'all need to check her out if y'all want some customs for like your birthday, your baby shower. She does wedding dresses, all that good stuff. Today is Monday the 19th. Um, I launched on the 30th, on the 13th, I'm sorry, which is a Tuesday. So tomorrow is, will be my last like full week in business. So tomorrow will be the end of this vlog. But today I just wanted to catch y'all up on what was happening. My phone was acting crazy. So I really didn't do anything as far as my business. Um, I didn't post on my personal Instagram or my business Instagram this weekend, um, which I really didn't mind. I don't think, but then I did notice since I did not post on saturday or sunday i did not get any sales on saturday and sunday i have been i launched on tuesday i've been getting sales every day since i launched which is a blessing i'm very grateful but i noticed when i did not post on saturday and sunday i did not get no sales which is obviously common sense but i just want to tell y'all that's the power of posting so i've been posting i haven't even been posted on my timeline every day but i've been posting like on my story um, I have it posted on my timeline, but not every day. I got an order. I got two orders on Friday and I was not able to fulfill those orders on Friday because I was just so busy. It was just like, you know what? I'm going to ship them out on Monday, but it does say on my website that I need three to five business days 
to process orders and then another seven to 10 business days for shipping. So just make sure you are doing what your shipping policy says. Guys, make sure you have a scale if you're selling a product. You need a scale. You need to weigh your products and the in the the um the packaging so you can get the right shipping label so i am i wrote down because i sold at least one of every item except for my butter pecan track suit so every ooh. So everything else that I sold, I wrote down the weight so I don't have to keep, so I could just remember, so I don't have to keep bringing out my scale, bringing out my scale when I sell it. So I just wrote it down in my notebook. Get y'all, this notebook is so old and so beat up. I had this notebook for like three years, y'all, but this is just all of me bringing my vision to life. I keep my items in this plastic until they're ready to be shipped because I don't want them to get ruined. Like, I'm gonna take it out this bag. I'm gonna show y'all the sweatsuit after I weigh it. Hold on. In this scale, you can do, I don't know what you can do, ounces, milliliters, grams, or pounds. I do grams. I just love these, y'all. Look, it's, and I'm not even a whole fan of the stacked. Mind y'all, when I first brought these sweatsuits, I was not aware that the shit was stacked because the model in the picture, I don't know, they wasn't looking stacked to me. They was looking... Okay, so this is 496 grams. So, so I'm going to just write down the name of it, Butter Pecan. Shout out to the name. I think the name is so cute. <laughs> so, Butter Pecan is 496 grams. My packaging was 17. I rounded it up to 20 because, you know, I add the notes and the ribbons and whatever. So, I just wanted to make sure nothing is whatever. So, y'all, I know I've only been in business for a week, but I've been learning that the girls are larges and me and extra larges and whatever. Because I have not, when I tell you, I have barely... I think this butter pecan suit is my first small ever that I'm selling. I literally sold out in, I'm trying to think. I got to look at my inventory again, but I really do think I don't have any more. I don't have no more larges or extra larges than anything. Y'all, this dress, this, I shouldn't even really show y'all because these is not restocking. It's so sad, but... I got a few more in stock right now. Hopefully by the time I post this video, it's still gonna be a few more in stock for y'all. But I mean, first of all, get into the detail. I mean, I love like the little black and white cause I'm just like, you could do so much with that. Um, You could throw on your little black leather jacket, some black hair, and you could just pump it. You got your fall colors going. You could play off of any of these other colors and the material because it like clings to your body, but it's not like a, uncomfortableness but it really like shapes like it just like kind of like <laughs> sucks everything right up so i love that when i first seen these i was like eh. i wasn't really a fan of it personally but i knew it was cute and i knew people would fuck with it so i was like i'm gonna just get it because i feel like i can't buy things that only i would want to wear because i'm not just selling to men i'm not just selling to to people who have the same fashion sense as me. So I just feel like to be a well-rounded well, well -rounded boutique, I needed to have stuff for everybody. But then when I got it and I tried mine on, because I got all my outfits, like, I'm not gonna tell y'all something I'm not gonna wear. Like, I got all my outfits. I'm about, I'm, I'm wearing my outfits too. Like, I wanna be Lux League with y'all. Um, so when I got it and I tried mine on, I was like, well, hold that, hold that, come through shape. Yeah, so don't only buy things that you will wear because you're not only selling to you and don't only buy things you feel like your friend will wear or your cousins or your aunts or whatever the case because you only sell this to them or you're trying to be big time 
and try to sell to everybody. Like, so if you only catering to your friends and catering to your family members and only catering to you, like, since you're putting yourself in a box, don't put yourself in a box. To say thank you because y'all showed out. Y'all showed out like... I want to say I wasn't expecting it, but I kind of was because I kind of knew that y'all fucked with your girl and I knew the work I was putting in and I knew what I was manifesting. So I'm, I'm not surprised, but I'm so grateful. I've never thought. I'm so grateful. I have some new arrivals to this Don't Fall For collection. And then um, I think that's going to be it for the fall. I'm going to start getting into like the winter um in like january in my next collection and i'm so excited for my next collection so all my aquariuses this next collection is for you so, so yesterday was a week that i have been in business so yay congrats to me uh yesterday i did not get any sales i didn't get any sales yesterday or monday but that's fine because I mean, I did so, I did such a good job this week and selling out of like all my inventory and larges and extra larges and things like that. Like I couldn't have asked for a better launch week. Like I'm so grateful. So, um, but that's fine. Cause we gonna get these smalls and these mediums out of here. Like we get any small and these mediums out of here and it's real quiet for the small and medium restock. Um, <laughs> So, just some things that I kind of learned this. Oh, I didn't even, I gotta tell y'all what happened. So, all right, long story short, I do my payout. I did not open a business account. So, please open a separate business account. I knew I should have opened a business account and I had every intention on opening a business account. But things just happened so fast, I didn't have time. So, I was just like, oh, okay, you know, I got like two seconds and two savings. I'm gonna just use one of my check-ins and one of my savings, like the one I use the least. So put my money into this check-ins. This bank is in, this is a, this bank is in Connecticut. I'm in New York. So put my money into this check-ins. Long story short, some charges were occurring on my check-ins account that I had no idea about. And when I went to check the balance before I put my payout on it, I had like no history, no like use history on it. And I thought that was weird. But then I'm just like, well, I haven't used this card in a long time. So maybe that's it or whatever. So I did my payout on that card. Long story short, boom, money going. I fucked my money up. Now I can't re up. So get a business account. So basically all the money I made from my first week in business is gone. Just like that. I think I have... Um, I'm not the one to be out here telling how y'all how much money I made. So I hope nobody is expecting that because that's just not my style. Um, I see people do it and I get it for like the motivational purposes, but I'm just, I don't know. That's just a little tacky to me. Um, but so I think I have what, $23 left, <laughs> um, from all the money I made from my first week, I have $23 left and that like barely covers shipping for inventory. So I don't know. So, um, but luckily I am blessed and I can take the money I made that, well, the money I was going to get new inventory with, I'm gonna just have to take that out of my personal account no sweat we live and we learn this is my first week in business this is my first business i'm not even sweating it like when it happened i was just like sis you should have opened your business account you knew you 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 were supposed to and you didn't and this is a lesson learned so i am going to open my business account because i can't be having that happen again like another thing i learned which i should have knew a lot of this because i used to have a blog y'all um my blog was called Sketch and Pump. I used to have a blog, so I should have known it's easier to plan out content. Um, when I did have a blog, I had the blog with my best friend. So kind of where I was slacking, he kind of picked up. And where he was slacking, I kind of picked up. But now it's just me. So now it's no one to pick up my slack. And I don't want my business to start slacking because, no. 
off off better. Like people can tell the effort and the work you put into your business by like your website, just by your customer service and things like that. So I just want to make sure when you guys shop with me, you feel like you're getting your money's worth. Um, I can't be out here charging out stuff and then y'all getting half packaging or y'all just not I'm not putting the effort because y'all worked hard for your money so if y'all worked hard for your money and y'all think I'm worthy enough to get some of that money or to give that money to my business and I have to give y'all the best I can be so I want to give y'all you know some planned content some content um that's gonna make you smile some content that's interactive um motivational things because I'm not really sure I keep telling y'all follow me on social media um, I be being a little motivational sometimes. So I kind of want that to um, play off into my business too. I want it to be a place where like, yeah, you can come to my Instagram to shop. But yeah, you might laugh a little bit too. Or yeah, if you're feeling down, you might see a quote or a post that kind of speaks to you. So I kind of want it to be um, along those lines. Because eventually, like, yeah, it's a boutique now. But since save this video y'all holla at me in a few years like this is about to be a whole little like lifestyle brand type thing going on like i don't even know if i told you i have shopify so and i love that the shopify app because like i was saying about my inventory i can just open the app and i can just go and see like what's almost sold out what's sold out like what like it, it's just so many details so if you are starting a business i prefer shopify i've had wix when i had my boutique and i just as far as like apps goes, I like the Shopify app better because I just feel like I can do much more on it. Don't think that you need everything. Like you, like y'all, cause you don't, cause, cause I was holding myself back for a little bit. Like, oh, I don't have this, I don't have the money for that. Like, and then one day I was just like, okay, girl, you gotta make this work, and I just made it work. So y'all see how I was running back and forth to the Popsu Plaza because sis ain't set up her printer. So don't be like, oh, I don't have no computer, I don't got no printer. Baby, I make my money off my phone. Like my Shopify app is on my phone. Like I got a um I got a MacBook, but like my Shopify app is on my phone. Like I make money off my phone. So if you sitting here thinking cuz you don't have the laptop and you don't have the printer and you have all that, you can make no money. If you got a phone, especially an iPhone, I can't speak on Androids because I don't have one, but if you got an iPhone, trust me. You can make you some money like you can make you some money we'll say make sure y'all subscribe please leave me a comment if y'all enjoyed this vlog uh and let me know if you want more business vlogs because actually we about to just do this monthly business thing so i don't know if y'all got any ideas about how i should do my monthly business vlogs let me know if y'all want to see anything specific if you want me to talk about anything specific in these monthly vlogs um i know i'm new to this but i feel like as i learn if i could each one teach one then it'll make the world a better place because since you can probably teach me something too so we just got to be out here teaching each other so leave me a comment make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your post notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video